So this is a setup for the heater vaporization lab. We've got a thermometer, and the thermometer has a rubber stopper on it, like this. And the idea is that it'll allow you to put the thermometer in a clamp. There's possibly this setup, or you might have this setup here. In either case, you want to make sure that this stopper here, or rubber part that you have, is above the 100 degree mark on the thermometer. The last thing you want is to have this obscuring any temperature range you might want to read. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'm making sure I can read the values on the thermometer, of course. I'm going to add a couple of boiling stones to the water here. Now the boiling stones look like this, and they're just they're just bits of Teflon actually, but they could be bits of ceramic as well, or they could be white, they could be black. And we just need a couple of these. I'm going to stick these into the water. That will help the water from bumping. And what ha can happen is that if there's not enough nucleation points or stuff in the water, it can bubble really violently and perhaps explode out of the beaker. We don't want that to happen, so we put some boiling stones in there. I'm also going to put a couple of boiling stones into my test tube as well. Now, your lab may or may not say to do that, but I like to do it because it's easy, I think it's easier to tell when it's boiling. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. We've got the large test tube here. I'm going to put it into the water. The other point I want to make is that the hot plate is not on yet. We want to gradually heat this because we know that the water will heat up. It won't boil and the liquid in here will boil before the water does. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this down into the water. Making sure it's tight. Let me uh, tighten that up a bit. There we go. And we want this sort of down in the water, but with the water level above the level of the liquid. Let me turn that around, make it easier to see. I'm going to have that tile zoom in on in a second. And now I'm putting the thermometer in, and the thermometer has to sit about half an inch above the level of the liquid that's in here. Could you please zoom in, Tyler? So what you're seeing there is a liquid about half an inch above that, the thermometer. Make sure the thermometer tip is not under the level of the liquid. We want to be measuring the vapor temperature. It's also important that the thermometer not be touching the side of the test tube at all. I'm going to come back to this in a few minutes once it starts to boil and I'll talk a bit more about it. Right, so here we are looking at a, a gentle boil of the liquid in the large test tube here. If you take a look at the thermometer bulb, you'll see that there's a little bit of liquid hanging off it. That's actually some of the liquid that's in the bottom of the large test tube here. And what it's doing is it's coming up there and condensing on the thermometer. And that's very common. Now you can see the bubbles forming in the liquid. Uh, that's a good indication that it's boiling. And at this point, once you've got that gentle boil, you'll be able to go up and read the, v the value on the thermometer once you've got that gentle boil and you can see it's a stable value on the thermometer. The other point I want to make is that you're not going to see very much action on the thermometer until the boiling starts to occur. That's because it's measuring the temperature of the vapor and until there's vapor around the thermometer, you're not going to see very much action. 